Okay, so now I'm just gonna do um, a haul. These are just um, also drugstore lipsticks that are my favorites that I have or have found. And these, I pretty much, you can get them at Ulta, but a lot of these you can also get at like Walmart or anywhere, like where I said, like NYX is kind of just, it's, I, it's not Walmart. I'm like a Walmart, I don't know. We don't have a lot of like, I don't know, stores. Walmart is like huge around here in the Midwest. It's probably why when you see most people at the people of Walmart, they look like that because they're probably from around here. I don't know. We're just freaking weirdos and we like Walmart. But, um, so I'm just going to get started. Um, the first brand I wanted to talk about, it's kind of a newer brand. It was by Drew Barrymore. It is the flower brand. Um, I just have two lipsticks that I liked from hers. A lot of my lipsticks I feel like that I get from anywhere, even like NYX and Drugstore, it's, I get the nudes because any other like actual color, I just need like color payoff and usually Drugstore just isn't, just doesn't do it enough for me. So I usually get them from like MAC or Lime Crime or, or you know, like crazier colors, just anywhere, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, I just like my nude lipsticks and anything like that, but I do have a few colors in here. But like I said, the first brand that I um, I, re I just tried out and I really like them is the Flower brand. Um, this is called Morning Glory. And it's kind of like a nude, but it is... And it's kind of a nude, but it has like a pinky undertone. At least it does on me. Well, it probably would on everybody. So I'm just going to swatch this. So this is Morning Glory, um, like I said, it's a nude, so some of these are, like, I feel like aren't going to be that big of a deal, or, like, you'd have to see it in person, but these are really creamy, so you know they're not super drying or anything, they're really moisturizing, and, uh, like I said, I have chapped lips and everything, so it kind of fills in everything, but it's just like a pinky nude. So it on my skin, I'll just do it if you can even really tell. Um, it's just right there. So um, I just like my nude sometimes with a little pink just to give them a little extra sun. Also what I got, um, I still have on that lipstick, but um, I did get um, one of their lipsticks. It's called Baby's Breath, and it was somebody else on YouTube had tried it, and I know I liked that brand. But... Um, so it's more going to be more sheer tone, but um, so it's going to be more sheer tone, but it's right underneath there. I pretty much got it to put on like a nude or like even this just to make it, uh, I feel like this makes it stand out a little bit more. So as you can see when I put it up there, it's a little bit brighter. So yeah, just gives it a little bit more of a vibrancy and it's a gloss so you know it just tops everything off but that was baby's breath in the shine lip gloss by flower and I just put that on top because if I put it on by itself I feel like it wouldn't really show up so yeah so these next ones I'm just gonna keep my lips pink because these are nude so I want you guys to be able to tell like kind of how they look but um uh, I know it's probably kind of boring to watch me swipe nudes and everything because it's like okay it's boring but I'm just trying to give you guys you know everyday colors that you know you can wear and um, find at drugstores because these are all I have from drugstores but um so I'm sorry if it's boring of nudes and everything but I feel like you guys would like those because you can wear them every day so um, the next color that I have then is nude narcissist and that's also from flower so this is just a nude color and you can kind of see it there. It's a little bit darker than my skin tone. Um, I do have the Maybelline nude which is um, in 910 Bare All and that is like my absolute favorite and I'll swatch that and everything but this is just kind of a darker one and I don't know just for, we're not all pale so I feel like this would be a good one but it's still pale enough for me that it's not too dark. Okay, so this is New Narcissist. Um, 
I feel like you can kind of tell it's a nude and it covered up my redness pretty good but um I usually like I said I put I mute out my lips before I put on a lot of anything so um but I just wanted to swatch and you can see that it covered most of that but it still kind of shows through but you can wear it however you want if your lips aren't as freakishly pink as mine. Next that I'm going to show is um, the Rimmel Show Off. It's the lacquer and I think it's in Nude Eclipse. So this is also kind of like this. It's a little bit darker but I had a friend that really loves this and she was obsessed with it when I used it at a photo shoot and she went and bought, um, bought it. But I usually put this over something too but it is very, these are like, these are really awesome because they are extremely pigmented and it is like comes in a wand it's like a lacquer and everything but um, it's not a lipstick so I feel like it, I don't know I still put it over something because I still when it comes in like this and it's not matte I feel like it's just like a tinted lip gloss but it's just super tinted and pigmented so I will swatch that so yeah look how pigmented that is and so you can't really call it a lip gloss but um I don't know if you can see this. Look up my nose too while you're at it. Pretty much almost the same as this other lipstick, but like I said, they're both just darker nudes. Um, and but like, look at that. That was in like one swipe, so it's super pigmented, and I really like it because it's not sticky or anything, and they smell really good. But um. That is Nude Eclipse by the Rimmel London, and those are called the Lip Lacquers. And they also have a bunch of other colors that were pretty cool, just none that I really needed at the time. Okay, so this is like my favorite nude of all time. This is the Maybelline, the 910 Barrel. This has been probably the best nude I've ever, I feel like I've ever found, um, just because of how pale it is. I feel like drugstores, I for how many years I've been searching for a nude color but I felt like they were always so dark and never matched my skin tone and I feel like if you were pale you could probably relate to that um, I feel like I can't even swatch this because it matches my skin because it's that pale so I'm just going to show you guys so this is Bare All I think it's called Bare All yeah, this is Barrel 910. Like, look at that. I love it. I just like, um, one, like, I know you're supposed to go a little bit darker with your nudes, but sometimes I really do just like this washed out look sometimes. And when your eyes are just the center of attention and like, where are your lips? I don't know because I'm not focusing on them. I just really like that. It makes the eyes pop. Like, usually when I do, like, a smoky eye, I will do a nude lip like this. And I just really like that it's super pale. I don't know. It's not, like, white. Like, I just ate a freaking pile of powdered donuts. But it's just, like, perfect. I feel like it's the perfect amount of nudeness, washed outness. So the next color I have is also from Maybelline, and it's kind of like the same packaging or the squareness of them, but this is from a different line. Obviously, this one was from, uh, it was just from like, this was just from like the nude collection, where this one is called, eight, it's 860 Pink Pop. I saw this, and I think it was supposed to be like a dupe, but um, it's just a really... It's more like a baby pink. Um, I'll try to edit it so that it shows up the correct color. But um, I feel like this one might be kind of like Saint Germain too. Um, but it is just like a Barbie pink. It just is really going to be vibrant and stand out. Yet it's not like a super magenta or like vivid. It's vivid but it's, it's just a Barbie pink. It's like the perfect Barbie pink that I've found probably, um, it's not like dolly, like a doll kind of pink. If I say dolly pink, I feel like that means more pastel pink, where like a Barbie pink is still like a light pink, but it's more vivid, because Barbie likes to stand out, I don't know. But um, I'm going to swatch this. So this is Pink Pop. Um, is really creamy going on 
I notice the taste. I feel like it's almost like Play-Doh. I don't know, but it's not horrible. It doesn't smell like it. Just kind of have like you can like kind of taste it on the inner parts of your lips. But this is Pink Pop. <laughs> So the next one I have here is from Milani and this is called Rose Hip. So this is going to be more of like a bright, vibrant pink. Um, I think this was also on a dupe site. I don't ever remember the dupes, but um, there's the swatch for that one. I feel like it's probably it's supposed to be like candy yum yum because it's really bright. And I remember this one smelling really good and it still does. It smells really good and the Milani ones, I just like the Milani brand in general. I just feel like it's more uh, out of a drugstore brand. It's probably one of the more higher higher up of the drugstore brand. <laughs> so um, I will swatch this for you guys. This is Rose Hip. Um, seriously, it tastes good. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what to describe. Almost like watermelon -y. I don't know. But, um, I really like the, the smoothness. I feel like with one swipe, you do get a lot of pigment out on it. Um, I, like I said, I'm really liking my green hair with, like, pink lips lately. And this is just really bright, awesome color. Um, really vibrant. And... I feel like it's like some of the other ones that I had, but um, just giving you guys brand selections and everything. I don't know what you guys have in your area, but Rose Hip, and that was in the Milani brand. It's really, I like love that one. Probably a, like out of like all my drugstore ones, out of a color one, I guess. That one is awesome. So the last two that I have are going to be from Wet n Wild. Um, so this first one that I have is called Dollhouse Pink. There's all these like Dolly Pinks and freaking Dolly Girl and this is Dollhouse Pink. Um, I feel, I think this one, the two that I have, they were dupes and I remember this one is supposed to kind of, I think it's kind of like Saint Germain. So I'll swatch that one for you. So... So this is Dollhouse Pink. Like, seriously, this brand, okay, like, Wet n Wild is like two something for a lipstick, and this like glides right on, and I barely even swiped it, and it just went right on. Um, and super pigmented. So for how cheap this is, this brand has got it going on. But um, this is Dollhouse Pink, and I kind of feel like it's like St. Germain, so crappy application. I'm just trying to speed things up and just show you guys what it looks like on my lips. I don't want this video to take 10 years, but this is Dollhouse Pink again. So since this is a red color, I'm not going to mute out my lips, but um, this one is called Stoplight Red. And I know that they said this is supposed to be like re-re-re-re-woo. I hate that. It sounds re-retarded. But um, Re Re Woo from MAC. This is supposed to be the dupe from it. So it's kind of like a, I know it's supposed to be like a warmer red. So, um, this is, these are so pigmented. Like, Wet n Wild is such a cheap brand that I can't believe they made a lipstick. Like, both of their lipsticks are this pigmented. But, um, this is Stoplight Red, and this is supposed to be a dupe for MAC's Re Re. <laughs> Re Re. Re This is supposed to be like MAC's Re Re Woo. Okay, so this is probably the shizziest application ever, but um, the only thing I will say I don't like about those is like they have a flat, um, their top is like a flat top, or I kind of like an angle, but um, so it's really hard to go around my piercing and everything, and like, look at that application, that is the suckiest application I've ever seen. But, I do have to say, this lipstick is insane, like... I don't know, with one, the one swipe it was like already on my lips and it's so creamy and moisturizing and like with me with the driest lips ever. I kind of forgot about that I had these, I'm not going to lie, I just, 
I remember liking them, and now I don't know. I just went back, and now I'm reminded again. This is almost like I feel like I look like Christmas right now. I have like bronzy, like gold color, and then with my red lips, I feel like, and then my green hair. Hi, right, this is a Christmas tutorial, but um, I really do like those Wet and Wilds. I, and then for two like something dollars, like seriously, people, you need to go get those. I know they have other colors too, and I think I always wanted to try them out, but then I kind of got caught up in all my freaking makeup that I think I need to have but um rep. <laughs> but wet and wild is seriously well, probably out of all those one of my favorites and uh, this Milani one right here um, out of creaminess those flower ones are awesome just super pigmented I'm not gonna I don't tell you guys I like stuff unless I really do I had some other ones that I had bought and they're just yeah they're okay even some support brands that I have some of these beat those so I would definitely check these out and I'm all about you know shopping and saving money and everything so oh yeah and definitely this one the um, show off lacquers I know you can get those at Ulta that is like the best I'll just stop like obviously I just told you guys how much I like them and everything and I'm just like repeating myself but um, we're to the end of my drugstore one, so I'll probably do um, one on my Mac, my Mac favorites. I don't have too many. I don't ch like to get, like I said, I don't need a million lipsticks. I want colors that I don't have, so uh, unless I like drugstore ones, I'll find that are dupes for it and everything because then it's like a backup. And I'm like talking so much, I feel like I'm losing my voice right now, but um... I might wrap it up tonight with um, just those drugstore ones because I just want to show you guys like my whole lipstick collection but um, I think I'll have to save the other ones for another night I need to go get some food in my belly because my food's growling my food's growling my stomach is growling if you have any questions or anything just comment message me on Facebook anything I always like hearing that I motivate and inspire you guys so just feel free to message me tell me I don't know when you comment stuff it just really it does help motivate me too so I really do appreciate it it doesn't go unnoticed so I feel like this is a lipstick video kinda of turning into other stuff maybe it's the red lipstick just feeling feeling frisky I don't know but I'm gonna go get I'm surprised I don't have lipstick on my teeth yet but I'm gonna go get some food I will see you guys in more videos and this is getting awkward so <laughs> love you guys and I totally appreciate it comment like subscribe everything please and I will see you later <laughs> bye